Hello, children. Are you ready for some cutting up and kiki in? Are you ready for a gay old time? Well, I hope you are, because now it's time for Hey Queen with your host, Johnny McGovern. <laughs> Winking little sassy stars, and welcome to another fantabulous episode of Honk Wong with me, your host, Johnny McGovern. Ooh, bitch, we got a bright, shiny show for you today. That classic cinema queen is here, the always glamorous Miss Robbie Turner. Yeah! yeah. She roller skated into our hearts. <laughs> I couldn't be more thrilled. But before she makes her Hey Queen debut, let me introduce another screen legend. She puts the wood in Hollywood. She's the butter on your popcorn of life. And you don't need special glasses to see her in 3D. It's Miss Lady Rekatoy. Yay! <laughs> Sweetie, honey. Hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. Oh, my God. Oh, Grace Jones. Oh, real yes. Dress. I'm wearing uh, this from Swiss Embassy with uh, Grace Jones. It looks really good. The rhythm, the rhythm. Wait, no, that's Kevin Aviance. <laughs> <laughs> but there's Hers a is slave to the rhythm. rhythm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you look gorgeous. Well, thank you. You know, I, I look like a, a gospel backup singer at the buffet. <laughs> yes, yes. You do. Yes. You, it's uh, like you went to the BET Gospel-Centric right, Festival. Right, And then y'all were like, should we go to Luby's after? And then you did. <laughs> right. Or Old Country Buffet. Let's go to Old Town Country Buffet. Old Town Country Buffet. They ain't gonna say nothing to us. We got that discount. We got that gospel discount. Yeah. The Jesus discount. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want the country fried steak with some cornbread. Now, audience, oh, I hope hello. you noticed the preemptive <laughs> strike. Lady Red, make sure to give me a high five. So I mean, bless her and knock her wig off her hand. <laughs> She's too expensive to be knocking off. Well, because uh, the last season we did that gospel number. Oh, and remember? I said, I bless you. Yeah, I and you were like, whoa, got to keep my hair on. Had to catch it. Got to keep my hair on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, well, now, honey, now, do you recognize this? Oh, yeah. It's our favorite game, oh, Odious yes. Blocks. Yes, baby. The gay boy version. It's the best. It's the best. True or truth or dare with mixed in with Jenga, uh -huh. mixed in with all sorts of stuff. They need a parental advisory on it. They should, huh? <laughs> let them know. Don't yeah. let your kids play Well, they do have it right there. It's um, a little bit, though. It's not for children. Right, right. It's for the children, uh -huh. but it's not for <laughs> children. Right. We played it with uh, Trixie and Katya oh. on that episode, and actually afterward we did play with Trixie and Katya. Yes, we that did. was pretty fun. That was but fun. everybody that saw that episode was like, Johnny, how come you got to do a dare, Adam got to do a dare, uh -huh. but Lady Red didn't have to do no dares. Lord have mercy. So, Lady Red. <clears throat> now is the time for you to do your one that you didn't get to do last time. All right, all right, all right. So let's see. Uh, now, do you want a truth or a dare? All right, well, last time I did truth, so let's do a dare. Okay. Right? All right. Well, let's... you didn't do anything last time. Well, I mean, I wanted to, but... <laughs> okay. We'll start with a dare. All right? <laughs> Adam, do you think she's making a wise decision? Well, you know she don't tell the truth, so bad as well do a dare. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> did that little moth just come for me? Yes, he did. Did that piece of bird yes, just come did. for me? She better watch her feathers, honey. She better watch, watch her, feathers. her feathers. All right, so what you do in the odious blocks is kind of like Jenga where you pile it up and there's a pile of blocks. Yes. And then you got to pull one out. Yes. And you want the dare. Okay. The dare is do an impression of a T-Rex eating a taco. <laughs> All right, I'm game. Fuck oh, that. all right. Oh, she's ready. Right. 
All right, lady, ready? Remember, right. the T Rex have low arms. Yeah, this is my taco, though. Oh, yeah, okay. This is your See, taco. I got props and shit. I'm ready. All right, okay. Even though I'm going to eat this later, nobody, you know. Okay, here if we they go. If you watch this show, they know you're going to eat it later. <laughs> Let's fucking believe it. it later. Okay. All right, here we go. All okay. right. Mm-hmm. Adam, some proper. <laughs> I'm a killer. I'm a killer. Um, honey, well, are we ready for this big show? I'm excited. There's an authoress on uh, the show, darling. Uh-huh. Look at her. Uh-huh. I'll tell you for free. Bye, Robbie Turner. Uh-huh. Robbie Turner. Why didn't she use her real name as a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Tales, follies, and inconceivable truths from the life of a drag queen, yeah. Robbie Turner. You know what? Only a few of these drag queens from Drag Race have written a book. Only a few. Robbie Turner is here. Come on. To tell you about it. Yeah. Robbie Turner, she roller skated into our hearts. But she has a lot of really amazing stories. So we're going to hear all about that right after this very gay break. Yeah. <laughs> I'm spilling the tea. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. It's Hey Queen, hot tea. Oh, the show where we sip steaming hot celebrity lives and throw Hollywood shade. I'm your host, Mr. Johnny McGovern, with my favorite hilarious people, Julie Goldman, Lady Red Couture, the beautiful Brandy Howard. Yes. Oh, my God, it's so hot I don't want to touch it, but I just can't resist. <laughs> Real Housewives, real plastic surgery. Richard Simmons oh. transition. She looks like Kelly Osborne. Trixie Mattel. Yeah. Manila Luzon. Yeah. Brandon <laughs> Bannon's boyfriend is Callum Best. Obviously, he's good at what he does because he's fucking the best of the best. <laughs> Kylie, Chloe, and Kim have not gotten near a white dick since junior high. Release the Kraken! I cannot deal with that at all. I will go crazy. It's making me crazy right now. And now I'm insane. Oh, but if you want the tea, honey, the total tea, bro. No O's, the tea. Hey, queen. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm sorry. Right before the camera turned on, I looked across the studio and I saw Lady Red's pussy right in my face. <laughs> The best like the stars of gospel and their pussy. Thank you, Lady Rad. I love you. <laughs> oh my god. Adam, do you see her pussy from your your spot? Um, I just look away. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do this introduction. <laughs> All right. Our, our guest is an authoress, a drag queen, a performer, and a classic movie expert. Please give our hey queen hey to Miss Robbie Turner. Yeah. Hey queen. Hey queen. Robbie Turner, everybody. Yeah. I'm glad you wore my favorite color. Well, I'm glad that you wore the color of my favorite um, Lucille Ball oh, superstar. Like... <laughs> I mean, like, I was obsessed with Lucille Ball as a kid. Yeah. Uh, you and I have very similar yeah. uh, obsessions with old Fair. lady movie stars. Yeah, I blame my mother. Uh, as yes, in you, for everything. As in for know? everything. Yeah. You look gorgeous. Oh, start. Oh, start and never stop. I'm like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, first of all, let's just talk about this for a second. I'll Ms. tell you for Robbie free. Robbie Turner. But by the book, you know what I mean? Robbie, now, I, now, Robbie, I've been living in Robbie Turner universe for the last 24 hours. I apologize. Going deep, and even I didn't know about this book. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. So how I feel did like this... I like it's all I talk about. 
Well, how did this uh, how did this come about? Now, because well, I know that I'll tell you for free uh-huh. is something that your grandmother or yeah, your mom, my grandmother, used yeah. to say to you. It was like when you were about to be read for filth. Because right. my parents are ministers, and my mother's parents are also ministers. So, Ooh, girl, I know I come from the I come from the family. So, Lady and, Red, right, you I'm can like, understand Lady that. Red, that's, that's I love my she's sister. kindred spirit. I know, mm-hmm. honey. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. And um, but whenever you were about to be like read, and in church especially, that was like the way of saying like girl. Girl, but it's like, I will tell you for free. And you're like, oh, oh, yeah. And it was the dynasty hand come, yeah, oh my from goodness. afar or a Bible. Yeah. So, this, you, so how long did it take you to write the book? Well, technically, um, <laughs> I've been writing it for a long time. Really? Um, but it's, I've written enough now that there's actually going to be three and they're done. They're just Whoa. like, I'm just going to release them a little bit and keep, cause I love to write. And so this has been a project been from a while back. Yeah. Yeah. From before Drag Race. Right. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. You were it's just ready nuts. to rock it. Yeah. And I've always, I was always one of those like journal writers, you know, like uh. Marsha Brady, you know, <laughs> so you, know, you, you went my through, icon. So when you started this, did you go through old journals or was this like, uh, I'm going to sit down and write. Oh, like, would you it, it, it was a memoir? little bit of both. Yeah. And then I, I actually spoke to family and friends and I was like, what are stories that I've shared or right. that memories that you remember, like that were funny or whatever and kind of built them all. And then I've been working with my manager and an editor to fine tune to make sure that they're not all like the same similar story. Or yeah, something like that, that is good. But That's it's cool. over 5,000 stories total. Wow. That's not how many you get in one book. Because um, <laughs> can you imagine? You'd be like, bitch. You're like, bitch, she's just a story. <laughs> she has lived. She has yeah. lived. Yeah. lived. Yeah. Well, Lady Red, ministers, children, like sisters in in Satan right here. Yeah. <laughs> in something. You sisters already know. Something. The great thing about us is we're going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not. For free. For free. Yeah. yeah. So you, you have such an interesting story that, I mean, like your your parents' ministers, your grandparents' yeah. ministers, uh-huh. nothing like two generations of ministers yeah. to spit out a homosexual drag queen. Two. Do. Yeah. My eldest brother is flaming homosexual oh, as yes. well. Oh, yes. So, but yeah. you took it a step further. Well, I think <laughs> I look like a straight man right now. Do you? Um, <laughs> in comparison to my brother, but you don't know. Really? <laughs> yeah. uh, what is your brother? He's a stunt. He's like a, <laughs> he's a <laughs> stunt man. He's on fire the whole time. Really? Yeah. He's flaming. There, He was like, yes, queen. The second he came out of the womb, <laughs> my, my poor parents were like, well, <coughs> we can't get rid of it, you know? Wow. Yeah. Because so... So even though your brother came out after you, yeah, but everybody seven years. knew seven years. Seven years after I came out. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Five years after I I came out. I came out the day I graduated from high school. You did. I was like, well, li- let's start life now. So, um, <laughs> well, that did. day, that day. I mean, it's interesting you, you mentioned that because that day, I'm sure it's in the book, was quite a momentous day for it you a, in general. It was a bad day. Yeah. Yeah. It, it started off started as a bad off day. started off very you know. dark. Yeah, very dark. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. Mean, I yeah. did that. I, I mean, so, that. like, just the, <clears throat> Robbie was graduating from high school, mm-hmm. and you were struggling with homosexuality. Yeah. I didn't, I or, didn't or, know I didn't know what gay was. I mean, I lived in a small town. I, I just knew that gay was a really bad word and, like, you didn't want to be that growing up. Right. Then when I figured out what it was and I was like, oh, shit. Like, I'm starting to have these feelings. Mm. Like, ugh. woke up um, to my my grandparents, the ministers, praying over me, my mother holding my journal, crying. And I'm like, oh, shit. Happy oh, shit. graduation day. Wait, they read and your journal My mom found my journal. Asleep? And the, the scandalous thing that was, like, in my journal was, like, I'm in the locker room and I'm so embarrassed. I feel like people, like, know that I am gay, but I'm not looking at them. I'm just so embarrassed. And, like, it was silly. It was, like, nothing. It's a good thing they but, did not read my high school journal. I know. My mother would have passed <laughs> out. would have been like, I'm yeah. in the locker room and it's dicks, dicks, dicks. Right. I hope yeah. they all make love to each other right in front of me. Right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, one day I'll play with all their parts. I want to play with their butts, their wieners. I want to think it might something be interesting if you put butts and wieners together. <laughs> right. Yeah. So they because, got- you know, every boner is a blessing. Bing. 
Ooh, you have a, you have a cross stitch. I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that day they were they you woke up. They're praying over your scandalous journal. Yeah, salacious. Yeah. And you took yourself out to the river. Well, How did that? Yeah, what was my, the story? I grew up on a farm, and uh, my family has this large river that runs through our hometown, and uh, a river runs through it, if you will. And um, I kind of told myself like you're shameful and wow. like it would be better for you just to erase and i always swam in the river and i kind of was trying to set it up like it was going to be an accidental death is wow. what i was thinking so i was very virginia wolf going into the river right <laughs> like watching the hours i'm still like oh little like little oh N nikki home. kid don't oh, don't honey. do it don't do it get out but she doesn't Spoiler alert. Um, so, <laughs> All of our audiences at home being like, I didn't know the yeah. end of the hours, yeah? <laughs> but the Robbie Turner ruined it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but then I, I did the whole river thing. I got in, and, you know, I make light of it now because it was many moons ago. But, but honey, it was a, a very serious moment. Something probably and, a lot of our viewers who at some point can relate to. Yeah, that moment absolutely. Of being scared, yeah. feeling hopeless. Right. Not, especially if you've been rejected from your family, that right. is really hard right and it's funny because in turn like i got in the river and was like wait a minute no this mm -hmm. isn't this isn't the story and i got out you know after trying to hold my breath and i was like you know luckily <laughs> holding your breath underwater is a great way to try to kill yourself if you don't want to kill well, yourself well that's what that's just <laughs> it it was like, like it was like wait a minute sucks. i'm not hold, i'm like <laughs> yeah. i'm doing this wrong right. like this i clearly don't want to die so got out it was you know a moment, like, and then went down, showered, got ready for my graduation. I mean, what a great and graduation! And came out to morning. my girlfriend at graduation. Went home at my after my graduation party ended with my uh, family, extended family. They left, and I came out to my parents. My dad first, and I and my dad's like this big, like six five, like you know, yeah. muscle man. And I was like, he is going to flip out. He's like the most masculine person I know, and. <laughs> naturally blessed with two gay, gay children. But, right, of um, course. <laughs> and I uh, came out to him and he was like, well, you're not going to get a fair shake in life. You're going to have to work harder for it, which sucks, but I'll always be here for you. Are we done? And I was like, oh, I almost, I was in a river like hours ago. <laughs> I, 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 a little more dramatic. I was like, wait, that's it? And, I, and he was like, the game, my dad literally said, are we done here? The game's on. Wow. And I was like, oh, we are. Okay, great. <laughs> and then he was like, but go tell your mother right now. And I was like, shit. So Fuck. I went. But I mean, let's get a small round of applause for Dad. Yeah, Dad yeah. is a great, he's a great guy. That is a good, and yeah. I've got to watch the game. Right, yeah. Enjoy sucking dicks. You know, gotta right. go. He's a nudist, though. I mean, he's got some flair. Oh, So, you know, right. a, a nudist preacher. Who doesn't I, want that you church? Know, you, as you right. as you look closer to your family, right. Bobby, You're like, you can start to see oh, why things drift right. down mm -hmm, into mm -hmm. this beautiful yeah. vision. They're so blessed. <laughs> Um, so, so then you have to then tell I, your mom. Yeah, I came out to Connie. To and, Connie? Yeah, you know, Constance. Woo! Yeah. And <laughs> she's, like the, she's like the force. Like, so wonderful. She's like Michelle Visage if Michelle Visage really knew the Bible. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> so she's like painted right. and done and has the Cleopatra eyeliner that it's like, girl, you were going to church. Uh -huh. Like, okay, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so I came out to her and she was like, wait, what? Like, this is, this is real. Like, you're really coming out right now. And I was like, yeah, I thought this Didn't was going to be a little different. I know, I'm journal, like, Mom? did you not? And she's like, but you, you don't want this. And I was like, well, I'm not going to deny it anymore. Wow. It wasn't as, like, cut and dry like that. Right. But there was a little bit of tension for a little while. But she is great. She's come to my hard rock shows and... You know, she actually knows about this right now. And she's like, don't, like, put out our skeletons. And I'm like, Mom, I wrote a book. It's already out, Like, Mom. skeletons <laughs> fell out, bones, like, you know. Please try to uh, cure yeah. that Ethan, Johnny. Right. And him. <laughs> no, she's <laughs> probably like, good. he would fit in in Seattle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it probably would. Yeah. Um, uh, but, well, the funny thing is about with your mom is that, you know, are we looking right now at a Connie-inspired look? Basically. Because well, I mean, she, she wouldn't wear first, something this short. But, of course. But uh, she would wear the floral heels. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, but, 
Yeah, my mom's like a drag queen, like yeah. full on. She's not the, you know, they're Pentecostal ministers, but not the types with the snakes and the denim skirts. Oh, that's She's, good. <laughs> but they are definitely like the Tammy Faye Baker, like crying. My mom's never heard of a waterproof mascara. <laughs> wow. And, but because if, you know, if a tree falls in the woods, you know, it's like, if you don't see the tears, did you cry? Did you, I know. Did you? Did like, you? Yeah. You did not. And I joke with my mother now, I'm like, you know, when you die, because she'll say like, she's always in a full face. I've never seen her without makeup on. Yeah, you even went ever. camping with her one <laughs> right. time, right? And all the time, every summer. And she always has a full, like, beat. Like, beat. And I'm like, I don't get it. Like, how? why? Like, it's so much work. And she's like, oh, I do this for me. <laughs> like, you guys are just getting the benefits. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I was like, and she's like, well, I don't want to meet my maker without my makeup on. And I was like, mom, you do realize that, like, in the Bible, it doesn't say, like, you need nails, you need hair you did, you need a full <laughs> face, otherwise the pearly right. gates are closed. <laughs> but they are, in her mind. I think, actually, your mom would enjoy hanging out with Lady Red because <laughs> yeah. she feels very much the same way. Very much the same Right, way. Lady Red? Right. Yes, yeah. baby. Don't Hallelujah. Say, hop. Hey, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> So you come out to your parents, you don't run away from home, but you do get out of the house. Uh, right? Yeah, for a year I lived uh, in my hometown because my parents also lived in Washington yeah, State. Mm -hmm, yeah, not DC. Right. Um, <clears throat> it's like in the country. I was, yeah, it's, it, it was very much a farm town. It is not anymore, but. Mm. Um, you know, my parents put the fear of God in me, as they were so good at. That's what, that, uh, that was their job. That was their job, you know, Jesus. And uh, <laughs> they... <laughs> Lady Rat loves this. You know it and I know it. You know it and I know it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just and, whenever people say Jesus, I crack up. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we know him. Um, he has hair. So, uh, yeah. So I didn't want to go to, I, w I was accepted to New York University and I didn't mm. go for the first year. I deferred my application because I was so frightened. You're like, I want to get good at yeah. anal sex before I go to New York. <laughs> I was even still afraid of that at that uh -huh. time. Can you imagine? I, not anymore. No. I can yeah, you don't remember. You're like, that was back. long ago. Long yeah. ago. <laughs> oh, is this a carpenter's? Long like, ago. Oh, I thought you were going to be like, oh, yeah, no, so far away. I mean, uh, I, nobody I knows could, us. But it would, this, so this, there are children I here. I know, yeah. I mean, I could do a old man river version of that song, like long ago. I can't with you. Actually, I can. I can. Yeah. Wait <laughs> in the water. <laughs> um, all right. So you, you finally did have gay sex, and you did, went to New York City. Not the two together. I was gonna say, well, that's a different timeline. But um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm your editor in this book. Right. I know. Like, we're like, we're right, gonna rip so we're gonna this do, page out. Oh, this is fine. <laughs> so when do you have gay sex? Okay. Uh, we're cutting everything. Cut. You get the dick in. That's the opening. And then you go to New York. That's my That's the more opening <laughs> story. The dick in. Yeah. So the first, actually, the first guy I ever, I lost my virginity to was a son of a preacher man. I mean, how On a you... church uh, retreat. And I was totally like, not, I did not know what was happening. I was like, wait, what, are, what, what, what what's happening? Oh. And, I, and he was, you know, wiser and learned mm. and in the I didn't sexual arts if you will like he was you know like two or three years older maybe right. I mean I was like oh what's happening like, something's interesting yeah Tingling. and I was uh, he kissed me and I was like whoa you're gay like I'm so confused because <laughs> he wasn't that he didn't seem that type and all I knew I mean Will and Grace was a new show at that time uh -huh. so I'm like gay people were like my brother Right. And Jack. Right. Like, I was like, ugh. You're like, hey, Jack, you know? how are you? Yeah. What? You didn't yeah, realize. Yeah, you can't be a She's gay. butch. Yeah. She's butch. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't talk about those yet. No, not yet. Yeah. You, you'll eventually learn that there yeah. could be butch The category queen. is butch queen, first time in drags at a ball. First time in drags. At a ball. Plural. <laughs> yeah. So you graduated from... Mm -hmm. NYU, mm -hmm. and then you went back? Well, or you went to Seattle? Kind of. Um, I was still living in New York after I graduated, and then I got a call one day, and my dad was like, you need to come home. Um, Mom has uterine cancer, and oh, she's like, right. it's almost done. And I was, I mean, my mother was like my best friend. My like, Growing up, I was like she, my idol. Yeah. She's still like the queen. Totally. Uh, so I'm like, that getting that phone call was like, wait, what? Right. And on Drag Race, on day two, I think it was, uh, Thorgy and I were thrown over on this table and they're like, 
just talk amongst yourselves and there's like a million cameramen around you and I was like, I don't know, what do you talk about? Like to this person with dreads and has a lot of hair, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, <clears throat> what's your family like? What's your mom like? And it immediately was like, uh, well, my mother passed away. And then we d it just opened up this whole wow. conversation and both our stories are identical. Wow. It's like both our mothers had the same cancer. Both our fathers called and said, you need to come home. And when she came home, her mother died like within the week wow. and mine like beat it. Yeah. So it was like, you know, the same story, but you know, the opposite endings. Right. And <clears throat> I'm grateful and, but like hearing Thorgy's story, I was a mess on set. They actually had to escort both of us oh my away. God, I, I was like, imagine. I can't even do yeah. it. Yeah. And it was bizarre. That's so, really And they're like, hard. we're not gonna go into this cause you guys are, Taking up a lot of time, like crying. <laughs> wow, oh my God. And I'm like, oh, like, you know, and it's awkward because there's also, you know, shit to do. Yes. Yeah. STD. You have the like, challenges you've got shit to and do. everyone yeah. else and they're is like, like, I also have a story. Yeah, I, so can we move along? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And oh you're my like, God. Oh, I don't know, but yeah, it was cute. It was real cute. Oh, but so your mom did survive. She did the survive. didn't come back. Uh, it did come back a couple of times and it was really scary for a mm. while. But then I eventually moved after it had been um, clear for a while. And I was right. like, you know, going through your hometown again, and everybody's like, oh, heard about your mom when I was so used to New York and you were you know the anonymity you're like, like get out of my fucking yeah, way you're I'm like, like oh, what thank are, you. yeah you're like oh god bless um but like hearing that like oh your mom and I was like I can't live in cancer town like yeah. I need to get out of here mm -hmm. and so I ran into a friend from high school and he was like oh I live in Olympia now and I was like oh cool and he's like why don't you come stay with me and my girlfriend and I was like oh great and he's actually the reason that I got into drag. He's the one whose couch you were sleeping yeah. on owed him and, $150. Right, seriously, <laughs> all of the all of the things. And he worked for an LGBTQ youth center. Right. And he was going to school to be a social worker. Uh -huh. And he was put in charge of this event. And the drag queen, tale as old as time, am I right? She's like called out sick the day of the event. And he's like, what the fuck? Like I'm screwed and I'm like, yeah, you sure are over my like bowl of Lucky Charms. I'm like, sorry, girl. And then, sorry, you. Yeah. Uh, wish I could help you. Wish I could help. <laughs> but I didn't like even, it didn't cross my mind. And he literally was like, you can do this. Like, mm. you can do that. And I was like, uh, no, I'm a theater actor. <laughs> I'm serious. And he was like, you owe me money. You're sleeping on my couch for free. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I should do this and so twist my arm he you know bought me a wig his girlfriend was a makeup artist put me on the stage i um <clears throat> did that gig somebody saw me at that gig asked me to do this other gig and it just happened and then i literally was in drag for 14 years you've mostly just been doing drag yeah yeah I, i've been a solid drag queen for over eight years now wow like full-time it's now, so bizarre what's what <clears throat> was your experience on drag race i mean you did well you so roller case yeah. skated your heart out. But you know, it's you know, definitely I want a... them to release the full thing, because there's tricks that I did that don't air. And really? I'm like, ugh. Like I wanna see it. I also want a slow motion of Cynthia Lee Fontaine dropping into the splits on top of the broken light bulb that I shattered. <laughs> oh my and God. at the end, if you rewatch the episode, she suddenly is not wearing her red fishnets on her like every other red that she was wearing. Right. Her, her lady red. <laughs> and uh She's suddenly not wearing them because they had to take her offset after the lip sync because I was like, um, Cynthia, I think you're bleeding. And she's like, oh, and like pulls out a piece of glass, like a piece. Oh my and I was God. like, oh, and there were two queens on opposite. And I'm like, bitch, you are bleeding. Oh my and, I, and she literally pulled it out and I was like, I think you're bleeding. And she goes, oh, Jess. And I was like, that's it? She's and one she, tough and she, like, she's like, whatever. <laughs> Like, Amazing. let's get this over with. And they were like, oh, let's stop and get the nurse. And that's why her, she's not wearing fishnets when she's eliminated. Wow. But nobody, like, I don't know what the fuck happened, but it was crazy. What was your, what was the positive and the negative you felt in that experience for you? In that specific just episode in, no, or just, just in general? Yeah. Um, well, it, you know, it was, I was talking to Michelle Visage in the What You Pack and I was like, that was late, uh, Drag Race was the first time that I ha had to allow someone else to control my drag. Mm. And that was a weird thing. And I didn't even realize that until 
after I was eliminated. I was like, oh, okay. Because I, you know, they're saying things like, do this as Robbie would do. And I'm like, but I wouldn't do that. Right. I would say it like this. And they're like, okay, but. And I was like, all right. I And I just, I, I had this weird struggle with it. And then figured it out and it's like, oh, All Stars 3, you wait. Like, oh, yeah. if that were to happen, <laughs> now I get it. Right. And, you know, and it was also the first time that I'd really done, um, like, a serious television show. Yeah. So, um, so it was, it, there was a lot of learning curve and you're like, oh, okay, um, this is different than I thought yeah, it was well, going to be. Yeah, well, certainly as a theater queen, it's not well, that. Well, and that's it's just like it. It's like live, yeah. but then they take the theater, they cut it all up. Right, and so I'm like, wait a minute, I don't understand, like, how do we, like, this isn't happening in sequence. So I was very confused a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, and it's also very fast, and things get misplaced, and you know you're also yeah. you barely unpack. It looks like you're unpacked, but yeah. you're not unpacked. Yeah. And then you're almost sent home, and you're like, I can't find this shit. Like, where's my luggage? Like, it's there, but I can't find it. So, Ooh, girl. yeah. And there's a million people around you, oh, and they all but, are ready to but win. they're never seen. You know, like oh, all right. the cameramen, yeah. all, like they're they're all there. That room is so full, but you don't. They are so good at not catching totally. other people. It's so bizarre. <laughs> it's like they must wear green screen suits or something. I don't wow. know. Wow. Yeah. Well, you definitely danced your way into the heart, roller skated, roller yeah. skated your way into the heart. I have roller skated more since that. Since that, in ever you gotta in do my what life. You gotta do, Robbie. And I was surprised. There's also a music video that exists. They like let us like let's see how well you all roller skate that day, which I think set me up to be in the bottom because uh -huh. I was the only girl that could roller skate mm -hmm. and but in this music video they made they made us lip sync to like rupaul's stuff like when we're playing it but they never show it and i don't know why but uh i'm teaching kim chi you know the dancing queen yeah. how to skate backwards <laughs> and that alone is worth a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> so yeah well, yeah. we'll be hoping to see you on All Stars 3, Robbie. Yeah. Is that what we're thinking? I'll, maybe I'll, like, roller skate in and, like, yes, hit bitch. the work sign and, like, <laughs> crash. crash. And I'm, like, broken light again. You know, like, something like that. Yeah. When can we get this book? It comes out in fe this February. I don't so know. It'll, when it'll be out now. It'll be out. It'll be out. It'll be out. Robbie, yeah. this is great. Mm -hmm. I love your story. I think it's very Thanks. inspirational for young people. And I think you're an inspiration and a talent, darling. Oh, start. And a talent. And don't worry, queens. Robbie's going to spill all the tea on all the queens from all of her season oh. on the Hey Queen After Show. Look at her. But that is not the time right now. Now is the time when I say, Miss Robbie, honey, you have turned it so fiercely. You <gasps> oh, I was so worried. a trophy, honey. Finally. Yay. Eat your heart out, Bob. Yes, you oh. did it. Yay. Yay. Oh. Go, you got it. Oh. And honey, you've also won yourself a lap dance. Yay. Yeah. you come back to the after show look at all where robbie's gonna read all the queens and we'll see you next time on hey queen bye baby